Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I'm playing Floris. A mod for Mountain Blade Warband, and we are laying siege to this castle. I'm looking to take as much territory from the Nords as I can, so we can wipe them off the map. Well, that's easier said than done, to be fair. Alright. So, they got 150 troops, we've got to wear them down a little bit. I've kind of been screwing up. Alright, let's get the game position. Return fire. I'm not going to rush it like I did last time. Let my boys get the business done. Is that a low squadron? You go over there. It looks like mostly like low rank troops rather than their elites. So I'm probably, I might send them up, take my archers to the left perhaps. But now they got reinforcements coming. There's still quite a few of them up there, so let's just waste them with my archers. No point like trying to jump the gun or anything. Some go to the left, some go to the right. I may take my infantry, because there's not many, to the left, and my cavalry can go to the right. Seems like a plan. Well, all the enemy is going to conjugate here anyway. It just depends on how quickly I want to take this castle. Alright, screw it. in position. That's why it's a good idea to always move them to where you want them to go rather than having them follow you, but it doesn't matter. What matters is that a few of them are there and my guys are just tearing through the enemy on the opposite side and they're gonna come up behind these lots so we're all right, we're all right, you know. This isn't like the last time we fought. Yeah, okay. Castle taken. Good stuff. There we go. Damn, he just got booted down them steps. Alright then. I lost quite a few troops there, that's not good. Not good at all. Someone asked why, or someone said that, you know, I had no food, but my morale was still really high. It's just because, well, it's just because, um, it's just because we keep taking castles and such. Alright, let's have a look over here. I mean, there's that castle there I need to take, but I want to try and see if I can do some damage here. Now, I do have to be careful that the... Rodox or the Nor uh, Rodox or the Kurgic Canate don't come and take any of this, but oh, he's, he's going after Jill Bedgie, is he? 
Go to somewhere. Alright, so a quick look, because I've been doing this, been going in blind. Now, I don't have any more troops with me, which is quite unfortunate, but since we can prepare the ladders here, we'll quickly take Albert Castle, then we'll go to uh, Jeroby. And then... Oh, they took tier, God damn it. Alright, tell Rock... Okay, so if the Rodox take territory from us that we're taking from the Nords, that's fine. As long as the, the the Nords don't hold it. That's all we care about at the moment, is making sure the Nords don't have our ter Well, making sure the Nords don't have any territory at all. Because we just need to eliminate their faction. That's all we're trying to do. So if it means that my enemy is holding that land for a brief moment, that's fine. Only like 150 of them defending, that's not many. This is the one where they try to push down. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, archers are in position now. Nord bodies are hitting the ground. Beautiful. coming back up to the battlements pretty quick so we'll just wait and let my archers take care of them. Everyone can aim. No one's like obstructed anywhere. Them them three getting carried away. Steady on lads, them four. Keep moving though, my shield's gonna break soon. Are they still moving? Oh well, yes they are. Alright, so, yeah, tier I'm going to have to go back for. One of the things I need to make sure is that if they do take places back, that I go back and just force them to surrender it to me, rather than waiting until they've got troops in. Because it seems like my party stopped following me around, so I do have to be careful with that. The only reason I'm not sending troops up is because I want to keep as many of my people alive as possible. Although they appear to be all really weak troops at this point. That said, we just killed a rank 5. Alright, it's next wave and then we're gonna go up. Next wave and then we kill. I think they're actually pushing down there. Yeah, they are. We should probably wait thinking about it. But screw it. Just those up there lads, go get them. Come on archers. Have them. Oh, they killed a baron. It's almost not even worth it to send these troops up here, now that I've lost the baron. It really isn't. This guy's like on me, man. Okay, I don't need a bodyguard. Get away from me. Yeah. Go. 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 Was he the one I hit with the axe? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> ah, there you go. Oh, he's a 
prisoner. Uh, I'll let him go for now, get that relation up while I still have the option to. But I am losing troops and these sieges are getting a little bit more trickier. So they took tier. Let's go check this place out. Jill Veggie. Oh, okay, they're after that. Well, that's not really helpful. I still have Marshall because of the amount of troops I have here at my disposal. This one's going to be a bit, bit tougher. What kind of siege is it? Build a siege tower. Okay, that's going to take full time because we're all injured. So, what I may do is make my way over to Wercheg. Now, they have gone for Curing Castle. I, actually, I'll tell you what. Wercheg we could take. I need to heal my troops up. Actually, Lady Osola. Lady Osola. Um... Alright, there we go. She's gonna follow me. Yeah, she's getting low on troops. She went from 800 to like 450. Oh, Christ, the Khan. Now, I think the Khan's gonna go take some of this territory. That's fine. As I said, it's all about... It's all about taking, taking that land off the Nords. That's what it's about. I mean, she has made this a lot harder now that everyone's at war with us, but what can you do? What you can do is roll the punches and try to adapt and overcome. fast. Holy crap. I'll go, I'll run into the uh, Sea Raiders. Oh, they already got troops there. Give me a break. This is, this is my problem again. This stuff up too quick. And this one always cost me troops. I don't have Lady Osola this time. Come on boys, we've done this already. You know this deal. You know what we're gonna do to take this place. Stay alive squadron on me, calm down. The archers get in there, let the arrows fry. Fry? Fly. Whatever, kill them. Only 150 of them. Oh, okay. Boys, move forward, move forward. There we go. Give the archers a bit of room. Give the archers a bit of wiggle room. Yeah, they're dying pretty quick. So we take Tyr back. I go and take Kurin back and hope to God Kurin has not got a bunch of people in it. Just try and make him surrender. And then maybe we go for... well, we'll see. 
it's kind of hard with their full army about. I might have to start fighting them in the field and defeat them a little bit. Well, that's not going to give me much room. The sprays of blood. That's kind of brutal. Are uh, they coming down? Or just him? Oh, they're going to try. If they can get over that lip of the uh, ramp, they'll try and come down. I'm thinking they may have run out of um, people to send up. Maybe. Could just be a larger stuck down there. There's a lot of them though. Alright, screw it, let's go. Let's go boys. Oh, here they are. Shit. Oh well. Can you he be helped? I have confidence in my barons. To eliminate them. Just get in position. There you go, lads. There you go. Do my best to keep Artemir alive here because he needs to do the siege tower soon. And we need the 30 hours and not the 90 hours to set it up. So. Oh my god, you son of a. That was my fault, I should have been watching him. God damn it. God damn it. Alright. A Nordy sword. A Nordy sword, I haven't seen that before. Alright, tears ours again. Let's visit the tavern. One of those things where the amount of times I've had to ca capture it now, I would have been better off just leaving troops here. I'm hoping like the Rodox or the Kyrgyz Canate make them take it. That would be pretty sweet. Alright, Lady Assault is on me still. She's lost like a hundred troops since we've been gone. We've got these boys here that we could do with taking out. Provided I don't run into them. A significant group of enemies by tier already. They bypassed me somehow. Maybe they went the long way. Oh, don't defend it, don't defend it. 26. Oh, he's gonna defend it now because that one guy ran inside. Urgh, okay. What we can do is just back up. Hope he leaves. Give it a, give it a little bit of time. It's Maria Castle. They're going to take territory and there's not much I can do about that. I mean, hell, we still have Ichimur and Halmar. That's kind of good. And if they're taking those, that means the Nords aren't going to take them back as easily. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. You know what? Let's, let's... Don't, don't let them get in there. Wait, one left. One free. Okay, there we go. And now the other bloke just went in. Oh, please abandon this stupid place. Alright, let's go. Let's see if I can let him leave. Because if I can do this without bloodshed, but the amount of time I've taken to get this set up. Alright. Now we go back, and we either take it, or we siege it. Either way, it's going to be ours. If he's still there, so be it. No, but they're getting their numbers back. Oh, you yes. Alright, build it. Build it, build it, build it. While it's clear around here for me to do this, where I'm not getting destroyed by sea raiders or a massive army of Nords, we need to take this castle. And we're going to do what we can. 
Come on, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. These guys are getting dangerously close. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh. Oh. That was amazing timing. That was amazing timing. Okay. So what's happening is that the enemy is on their way to destroy me. And all I can do is probably go inside and just hold the walls as long as I can. This may be the end of me. I mean, if we're going to be able to sneak away, I'll get caught and defeated. Maybe I can have one of them, you know, leave me be. How do I do this? How do I do this? That is the question. I could try and mount a defense here, but that'll be kind of tough. It depends on how many archers I had and how much damage they could do. There's going to be so many of them. No chance, really. Angrel wants a castle. Again. It's only 60 of them. Shouldn't take too long. He's about to run off the edge then. Just to end his life. So the problem is there's gonna be a few odds and sods left around this place. That we're not gonna have like high enough ground to take him out. All I can say is that if I ever make a new character in this game, he's gonna be an archer as well, because you think back to Warband when I was playing and I was an archer, how much damage I was able to do. Those were the days. Yes, we want to retreat. Call a meeting, surrender. Yes, I... Yes, I give you my word. Thank you. Okay, well... The castle is ours, but we've got Nords on the horizon and we're going to have to work out how we're going to do this. Tear still ours at least. Yeah, okay. The Nords are really losing territory though. I mean, we check his ladders, we could get that easily. The rest are like siege towers, so... It's, it's getting there. If we can just hold these couple of castles on this side. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Join me next time.